Well, the SEC and the Big Ten could potentially get into a bidding war over Florida State, but it might take 10 years. Some good and bad news for the Seminoles here, all from Dennis Dodd of CBS Sports. Welcome into the channel. I am John Kurtz here on this channel. We talk college football, college basketball, and conference realignment, all from a Big 12 angle. Please consider subscribing if you have not. Live shows Wednesdays and Sundays, they are a blast. Ton of people in there, great time. Make sure that you are subscribed. You hit the bell so you know what it is that I'm going live. And if you would please like the video and leave a comment underneath, love me, hate me, agree, disagree, all of that, very welcome. I would much appreciate that. You can donate to the channel on Venmo at john kurtz 4 as well, if you are so inclined. Okay. Today, I'm going to bring you a little bit of an audio clip from Dennis Dodd of CBS Sports. I had a chance to talk with him recently when I was hosting on 610 Sports Radio in Kansas City. And I got to ask him not only about the Big 12 and the college football playoff at that time, but the conversation took a turn into realignment because he had some interesting thoughts about Florida State and its battle right now with the ACC, which, of course, if you are unfamiliar, Florida State opted to take legal action against the ACC in essence, claiming negligence and bad business. And uh, the ACC preemptively, we found out after the fact, took legal action against Florida State for trying to get out of the grant of rights and do everything that they are doing. Lots of talk of Florida State potentially going the private equity route to finance their way out of it. They think it may cost upwards of $570 plus million as of right now to get out. So it's going to be a war. But most people seem to think like, hey, this thing would be wrapped up pretty quickly. This thing will be over and done with, and pretty quickly, I mean, within the next year or two, let's talk of Florida State maybe trying to be out before the 25-26 academic year. With how brash Florida State is acting, I certainly understand why people believe that. But Dennis Dodd, I would say, poured a little bit of cold water on that, while at the same time, giving Florida State reason for optimism about the interests of both the Big Ten and the SEC. So it was a very interesting conversation with some interesting points made by Dennis. Now, we're going to start the conversation here. I asked a question about how bullish he is on the future of the Big 12, and that's where the conversation really took off on Florida State. And it's in part because he began by saying that he actually thinks Florida State and the Big 12 could be a possibility. So we'll start here. How bullish is Dennis Dodd on the future of the Big 12? I don't know if I'm bullish on anybody in the future except the SEC and the, and the Big 10. Yeah. Um, but, but next year, look, uh, Brett Yormark has done his job. He's reconfigured this conference. He's got the best of what's left. There's still whatever happens with Florida State. I think the Big 12 may be a player. I'm not sure, but he's going to make sure they are um, if they end up getting ex extricating themselves from the ATC. So, yeah, it's, it's, you know, it's, I don't know, whatever you want to call it, the, the third best conference or the fourth best conference. But guess what? Before any of this started, the Big 12 was always the third best conference, the fourth best conference. Um, and there's no competitor now with, uh, for that from the Pac-12 since they're gone. But, no, I, I love what's happened. I'm really looking forward to it. Dennis Don from CBS Sports talking with me. On the Florida State point, you know, I'd heard that, and, and I know it's been out there from a couple places, like, hey, maybe that is like a last-ditch option for them. I don't, would Florida State really do all of this just to, to wind up in the Big 12? And how much, how much more money would they potentially be making in the Big 12 than what they're getting in the ACC right now if they were to come? Well, this is so complicated and so tangled. I mean, this lawsuit that was filed by Florida State last week against its own conference, the ACC, um, I, at the time I wrote, well, this is just a matter of time. The ACC is going to crumble, and Florida State will find itself at least a free agent. You know, they are not worth the pro rata that is being paid in – the Big Ten, or the SEC. That doesn't mean they wouldn't go there. Uh, I, I, I think it would be a bidding war, frankly, if, if the SEC showed interest in the Big, in the Big Ten. Man, we can, get a, we can get a foothold in Florida with this. Um, and, and they would go for less than the teams are making those conferences now. Look at the extremes that the Stanford, Cal, and SMU went to just to be able to say they're playing major college football still. So I think it will come about. I don't know if it will come about in the next 10 years. Um, hmm. uh, the thing I wrote was like, uh, I'm kind of settling on 2030. Uh, this will end at the point that the ACC and the FSU are tired of spending money uh, in court, and it's more fiscally responsible to settle. I don't think it's going to be settled anytime soon. I think the ACC is resigned to the fact that they're going to have a really mad member 
uh, it's upset in their league. So what? You know, now we'll decide things in court. But, but yeah, I, I think uh, I think the I think the Big Twelve is a player. Um, look, who's going to decide this is the networks, and I don't think the SEC or Fox are in a mood to be writing more checks to uh, the Big Ten or the SEC, uh, you know, or, or overseeing the dissolution of the ACC if that happens. Because if it works for Florida State, and I know I'm rambling here. Uh, it's a blueprint for North Carolina, for Clemson, for Virginia to do some of the same thing. Look, K-State got to debut Avery Johnson. Uh, Kansas obviously had a nice bowl win earlier this week, and they get the news that Devin Neal is coming back. How do you feel like they figure into the, the Big 12 title race next year? That obviously, I mean, I think there's probably six or seven teams you could talk about there, but Arizona may be leading the charge after what they did last night too. How do you see that shaping up? Yeah, watching those games the last couple of days, that was my big takeaway. Somebody's going to win the Big 12 next year, and it's not clear who, but it's going to be fun as hell because uh, whoever wins it is going to be in the 12-team playoff, perhaps for the first time. And Kansas it can legitimately, you know, K-State has won the Big 12. Kansas can legitimately think about going and playing for the national championship based on the, you know, the, the good feelings from the bowl game, winning the bowl game, Devin Neer, uh, they get their quarterbacks back. Um, in Arizona, uh, nobody's talking about Utah, who's yet to play. I th- oh, no, they did play. They, they lost to Northwestern, but is probably the most physical of the new bunch. And I think it's going to be fascinating. I, I think it's going to be the most entertaining conference in the country next year. We pretty much know what the Big Ten is, even with the new team, SEC as well. But what about the Big 12? I mean, any of those teams I mentioned could be in the playoffs. All right, so I appreciate Dennis Dodd there for taking the time. And the reaction to this is, if I'm a Florida State fan, I'm thinking, well, there's some good and some bad there. A lot of people are kind of poo-pooing the idea of the Big Ten or SEC being ultimately all that interested here. But he said, hey, there could be a bidding war because the Big Ten would look at it like, hey, man, we can get into Florida. Like, look at that. We can get into Florida. And, well, that most conventional wisdom right now says the SEC does not need Florida State. They've already got Florida. It's not a contiguous state. It's not uh, something branching out. I guess it's not something branching out that's a contiguous state. It is quite literally already in the SEC. So why would they want it? Well, they would want it to block Fox and the Big Ten from planting their flag in the state of Florida. So that perhaps could drive up the price in a bidding war situation when Florida State on its own would not be pro rata worth that value and that ad. But the bad news would be Florida State is not trying to wait 10 years. And Dennis Dodd saying, hey, this could play out within 10 years is a much longer timeline than anybody else seems to be giving much credit to. And, you know, if you think about 10 years like that, that can be a lifetime, especially the way things are moving right now in college football. Think where we were just three years ago, you know, before Oklahoma and Texas announced their move to the SEC, which is where we were at three years ago. How much has happened then? All of the change that we've chronicled here on this channel, it has been wild. So 10 years Who knows what this sport is going to look like by then? I can't even begin to imagine. Even if we're going back on like a more normal, regular-ish timeline 10 years ago, we were still fairly shortly thereafter, the aftermath of the original four teams leaving the Big 12, Colorado, Texas A&M, Missouri, Nebraska. And the Big 12 had only just recently added West Virginia and TCU. That was still a pretty new, fresh thing in the league. So 10 years, a lot, a lot, a lot could happen. But very interesting thoughts from Dennis Dodd. I appreciate the fact that it was it was kind of a different sort of refreshing take. And, and he did become the second person I've seen breathe life into, hey, maybe the Big 12 is a potential landing spot for Florida State. After all, the other one to do that was Brett McMurphy, who did give that at least a little bit of credence in his initial report on all of this. But much to discuss. We can definitely talk about it on the next live show coming up on Sunday night. Make sure you're locked in for that, so get subscribed to the channel. Please like the video, leave a comment. What do you think about what Dennis had to say? Are you buying into any of this? Let me know in the comments, uh, and uh, I would much appreciate that. John Dash Kurtz, Dash 4 on Venmo if you'd like to support the channel as well. And uh, take care. I appreciate you being here, and thank you for locking into the channel.